So after watching Double Man Cry Baby, uh, I needed I needed something to watch, and I needed something to watch in the sense of just getting the almost horrible bad taste in my mouth that was from Double Man Cry Baby, and I, I I didn't really know a lot of things that I really wanted to watch. I thought about maybe rewatching Naruto, maybe maybe starting to go back and rewatch Dragon Ball because Super is coming to an end in a couple of weeks, so. Um, Mainly this, meaning this Saturday with episode 130 and then next week with episode 131. But I, I needed to watch something. I needed to watch something almost brand new. I, I am going to go back eventually and rewatch Dragon Ball, but I needed to watch something brand new. And I already knew that this anime existed, and I already knew a lot of people really liked this anime. But I never really seen anything from it besides listening to maybe like one or two soundtracks. Ma mainly... Uh, mainly one of them, which is notorious for, you know, it going along with everything, kind of like Guile's theme, and I, I don't know, I find that really hilarious, but, um, the anime that I'm talking about, as you can obviously see from the title, because I probably definitely did put it in the title, uh, I started watching My Hero Academia, and I just finished season one just, uh, just a couple hours ago. I started watching it about, like, one o'clock in the morning, 12.30-ish, right, right around there, and it's about 7.35 in the morning, and I finished in all of season one, all 13 episodes, and holy, holy shit, man, it was, um, it was really good. I really, really liked it. It, it pulled me in, it, get, it gave me interesting characters that I really enjoyed, that I want to get emotionally invested into, and these characters are, are really cool, and they all have, like, weird gimmicks that are, like, super fucking cool because of, like, their characters and who they are and their personalities and stuff like that. Double Man Crybaby didn't have any of that, and I finally, in a sense, have this with a series, and I feel like that's mostly due to part that I watch a whole bunch of shonen anime, and for all my life, well, I've only really seen shonen anime, because Double Man Crybaby isn't really a shonen anime, but... You know, this is like the next big series shown in anime, and I have been wanting to catch up along with it because uh, season three is coming up in this April, April seventh, uh, Saturday, April seventh. So be on the lookout for a, another video, basically reviewing season two because I'm doing season one right now, and then obviously I'm going to continue on with the reviews for My Hero Academia once the first episode of season three comes out, which is episode. I want to say like 39-ish for some reason. I don't know. I feel like I'm entirely wrong. I, I didn't really look at how many episodes there were. I just know that there were 13 episodes of the first season because I just finished it. But uh, it was really good. It was really good. Um, the pacing is something that I absolutely adore from this fucking anime. After watching all 10 episodes of Double Man Cry Baby and how honestly piss poor that fucking anime's um, pacing is... This pacing for My Hero Academia was absolutely astonishing. It was absolutely fucking fantastic, and I loved it. Uh, because it's not too quick in the sense that it throws everything in your face. It throws, your, it throws you a whole bunch of information uh, to your face, and then you try to keep up with it, but it just moves on to the very next thing, so you can't really you can't really comprehend what the hell just happened just, just like a couple minutes ago, and you have to focus on what's happening next. But at the same time, it's not it's not that slow that to where it feels like, you know, it's taking me like an hour just to watch one fucking episode. You know, and that, that was the problem that I had with Double Man Crybaby was the fact that the pacing was so quick that I couldn't really keep up with the series to the point where I where I only remember like a couple death scenes of certain characters. The ending of the the last episode for you know the entire Double Man Crybaby anime, and maybe a couple of scenes with the rappers, and that's pretty much it. And even though I just finished watching season one, there's so many scenes that I absolutely adored, like the uh, the scene where. Uh, where Deku gets uh, All Might's like powers, I forget what it's called, but um, the first time that he actually uses it, that was actually really fucking awesome, and I, I really like that scene. And then the episode that I just finished with All Might uh, fighting Nomu, I think that's what that guy's name was. That scene was fucking awesome. That shit was fucking fantastic. Uh, the anime and the art style is very similar to most anime that has come out in recent years. 
and very similar to kind of like Naruto and Dragon Ball in a couple of ways, especially with Super. But it's still diff it's still significantly different to where it's actually its own art style, and it looks awesome. I really like it. Some of the a lot of the characters actually look distinct in their own ways, and you can tell that they are from their own anime and that they are their own characters, and they all look really cool. Uh, the animation, of course, you have to give props for because the animation is absolutely just mwah, beautiful. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the music in the series is actually really good as well. I really love the series. Uh, not the series. <laughs> well, yeah, I love the series, but I really love the music. The music is fantastic. There's so many uh, just soundtracks that I've, that I've already heard so far from season one that I absolutely fucking adore. Uh, you say run uh, mainly. Uh, I think that's what it's called. I I hope I remember what it's called. But uh, that soundtrack is absolutely fantastic. It truly goes along with almost anything that you put uh, in front of it, and it's it's really good. I really do enjoy that soundtrack. Everything else is is, is just fantastic in terms of the soundtrack. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, in this series, you follow along a character. His uh, he has a friend who calls him Deku as a term of an insult. Uh, but I believe his name is Izuku. I, for I forget what his name is because I, I don't know. I prefer I, for I prefer calling him Deku because it's easier to pronounce and it's easier to remember as well. So fuck you if you hate if you hate calling him that. That's what I'm gonna call him. Uh, you follow along with him and he essentially has a dream, uh, following in the, in the footsteps of All Might. And if you're wondering who All Might is, he's essentially very similar to Master Roshi and Jiraiya in the sense of Jiraiya was like a mentor to Naruto and that's what All Might is to Deku and um, uh, the, 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 the reason why I also compared him to Master Roshi from Dragon Ball was because uh, All Might has like this uh, has like his true form and then he has like his All Might form which you mainly see him most of the time when you do see him in the series and a lot of promotional stuff for my Hero Academia as well, and a lot of mods from from different video games as well. But um, he also has his true form, where he's like super skinny. His face is drastically different, and uh, only a few people know what his true form actually is. And the reason why I compare it to Master Roshi is because Master Roshi is like a you know like a skinny like wrinkly old man, and and then he has like this huge buff form, which reminds me of when of what All Might does whenever he gets into a fight. Master Roshi doesn't always do that when he gets into a fight, but it's very similar, it's very reminiscent, and I do like that. All Might is a is a is an awesome character. He's easily be he easily became uh, a fan favorite of mine and a fan favorite of, of everyone from what I can tell. All Might is a really good character. Uh, I really like him. He's very enjoyable. He has a lot of badass scenes so far and I I I fucking love that. Um a lot of the characters in the series um they all have their own quirks and it's explained that for somehow for for some reason some person started glowing with light and then they had like these like superhero-esque powers and then from that point on it started passing on to different generations to different people and then everyone had their own quirk that's what they call it in the series and everyone's quirks are different uh, like Deku's friend uh, do, knows how to manipulate like explosions. Uh, Deku eventually uh, he starts off with without a quirk. He's quirkless. Uh, that's what they literally say in the series. Um, he doesn't have a quirk. He's very um, special in that case. But a lot of people make fun of him because of that reason. And then eventually, you know, he meets All Might, and All Might gives him his powers. And that's all due to the fact of you know the plot of his character, which I could go into into explanation but I would rather you prefer to go and watch the series yourself because it is very enjoyable of course if you haven't seen it if you already seen it then you've probably already caught up with it you're very excited for season three but if you haven't watched it yet I highly recommend watching this if you are a huge fan of shonen anime and anime in general because this is a very 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 good anime and uh, I highly recommend it, most people to go watch it if you haven't seen it because it's fucking fantastic um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of characters in the series have quirks. Most characters that you see on screen have quirks. Uh, they're all very unique and different from each other, which I really like because in Double Man Cry Baby, a lot of characters seem kind of like the same, and then you see you see a lot of demons that are kind of very similar as well. And they weren't there weren't any demons that were very distinct to each other, and neither neither were for the Devil Man. They didn't really have anything distinct for their own you know, character design or their personalities. They were just very bland and boring, and I didn't really like that. But 
uh, My Hero Academia does that completely different because it matches their personality, it matches uh, their superhero outfits that they wear uh, in the series, of course, and it's it's very interesting and I really like it. And the costume designs when they actually go to like this superhero academy school, that's what I'm gonna call it because uh, it's called UA, I'm pretty sure. And you know they basically go into like superhero like combat training on how to become, you know like like a hero like All Might and a couple other characters, uh, like the pros. That's what they call them. And the pros, you 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 see them a couple of times in the beginning of the first episode, and most of them have really interesting and really cool designs, and they they look really cool. And I wish that we see them a lot more, but I don't know how often we're gonna get to see them, which may or may not be a little bit disappointing. But I imagine it will be a, another another kind of thing. Uh, like in Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, to be specific, um, the reason why Winry was such an enjoyable character for me was because she wasn't in every single scene. So whenever she was in a scene, uh, it was very enjoyable just seeing her on screen and interact with uh, Edward Elric and Alphonse Elric, and it was it was very enjoyable and very fun to watch. I imagine that's going to happen the same thing with all these like pro superhero guys uh, and gals, of course, and it's going to be really cool. So. I'm completely caught up with season one. I absolutely fucking love season one. So far, it's impressed me with its music, its um, its uh, art style, its animation, its characters, its character designs. Uh, I'm watching in the sub, and everyone who's doing you know the sub voice acting, I I, I want to give you credit as much credit as you honestly deserve, but I can't name off your voices right now because I don't have them on screen for me. And I would even I would even butcher the fucking names in the first place, and that's why I haven't really named off a lot of characters that are in the series because I'll butcher their fucking names. But um, I really do enjoy My Hero Academia. I just finished season one. I think later today or tomorrow I'm gonna be watch. I'm gonna start my marathon when it's season two. Uh, there's about like 20 something on episodes, so it's gonna take me at least by the end of the week to finally, you know, fully catch up and then I'll be ready for season three. And then I'll be reviewing season three whenever that comes out in April uh, the 7th. So be on the lookout. There's a new anime series that I'm gonna be reviewing on the channel. And yeah, it should be really interesting. I am very excited for what's gonna happen in the future. Be on the lookout for the, another video for My Hero Academia reviewing Season 2 because I really like Season 1. A lot they did really interested me. It looked good. You know, the characters are fucking awesome. I loved it. That's honestly what I honestly really thought after finishing Season 1. I want to see more. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end up the video here. Uh, I talked really fast throughout the whole video, so I hope it wasn't too difficult to keep up because I am very tired and very sleepy in, in a couple hours. Uh, I got a couple of guys coming over to my house and working on some plumbing uh, stuff, and they have to do some stuff really quick. So I wanted to make sure that I can go ahead and, and record, and I don't know when you're going to be able to see this video. You might be able to see it later today or tomorrow, uh, most likely tomorrow depending on what or may or may not happen. But if you do see this tomorrow, uh, expect the Boruto review to come out Wednesday. Uh, of course, they do, if they do have an episode going up, if they don't, then obviously you won't see one. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button for more anime content and more video game content in the future. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, be good people. Have a wonderful life. Have a beautiful life. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm out.